Well, the city of Minneapolis is calling out Wells Fargo and says it is looking and taking its business elsewhere. The city council voted unanimously to explore ways they can stop doing business with banks that invest in the fossil fuel industry. The council points to Wells Fargo's backing of the Dakota Access Pipeline as an example. John Lordson shows us how Wells Fargo is responding to the city's threat. It's nearly 500 miles to where pipeline construction and heated protests have taken place. And Minneapolis council members are sending their own message of protest, not to North Dakota, but just down the street. This is about looking at the options that we have as a city to use our taxpayer dollars in a responsible way, in a way that will protect the environment and the people. Council member Alondra Cano says she proposed looking into how the city could end its relationship with Wells Fargo after her constituents show concern that the nation's fourth largest bank is backing the pipeline project. And it's not just the environment she's concerned about. In the case of Wells Fargo, the over two million uh, fraudulent accounts that they opened up on behalf of people that they were not aware of. Cano says the bank's fake account scandal also raised red flags. But according to Wells Fargo, They've invested $300 million building two towers near U.S. Bank Stadium, and they employ 11,000 people in Minneapolis. In a statement, a spokesman said, We are very proud of our 131-year long-standing tradition of serving the Minneapolis community. Council member Cam Gordon, who wrote the proposal with Cano, says it's possible the city could alienate Wells Fargo. But he's hoping they can work together. And I think that the city wants to be a good partner with Wells Fargo and a good customer or client. And so this is something to work out. The council has assigned their finance staff to see what other options may be out there, including possibly working with credit unions instead of banks like Wells Fargo. They expect to have a detailed report on this by July of next year, Amelia. All right. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm.